With us now are Dr. Charles and Dr. Owen, and we're going to be talking about bariatric surgery. Welcome to the show, gentlemen. How are you? Doing well, thank you. Doing well, thank you. So you had a common mentor, and that's how you learned about one another. That's right. We did. So Dr. Pike, you're new. So tell us about the opportunity to work together. Absolutely. So we, we met through, like you said, our mentor. And as soon as Dr. Pike came in for the interview, I, I knew that this was someone that we wanted to work with. Um, the passion that he has, not only for his profession, but for patients as well, is something that is, was easily matched with what we have going on at Clarity Surgical. Now, the reason that they call it, you just told me. Cl why did you call your practice Clarity? Well, Clarity, meaning uh, clear vision or clear thought. I woke up one day and I said to myself, I need to open a practice where I can help patients the way that I want to help them. I want to help patients the way that they need to be helped. Um, and I got very clear about that vision and thus Clarity Surgical was born. And that's kind of the story with me too. I was sleeping on December 28th of 2008 and I had this night vision, this dream, and I dreamt it in color and I woke up and I was like, what was that? And I wrote down everything I could remember and there the television show was born. Wow. Um, so it's interesting when our path calls us into being. So was there someone along the way that inspired you to become a doctor? Well, you know, I think uh, you know, I was sort of blessed in, in, in that early in life, I sort of had two mentors that were in the field of medicine. I have uh, three older siblings, okay. uh, like much older, 15, 13, and 10 years older than me. Uh, and two of my siblings actually pursued medicine as well. Um, my brother and one of my sisters. So. Uh, and sort of just watching their path and their passion for medicine, um, having had an you know, interest in the sciences from a young age and wanting to kind of partner that or couple that with, uh, with service and serving my community, medicine became sort of an obvious choice for me as well. Plus they had like a lot of medical books already. Textbooks were in the house, right? <laughs> yeah, when I was like nine years old, my, my sister uh, gave me like a little uh, skeleton model and I memorized all the bones in the body and you know, just was very interested from that time. That's pretty fun. And how about you? How, what was your journey toward medicine? So my grandfather was a physician uh, from Jamaica. I don't know if you knew that, uh, <laughs> Owen. Uh, he immigrated to this country, became a physician in the 40s or something like that. Passed on to my mother, who uh, got me into the science and the scientific field. And here we are. Lovely. Yeah. So you want to help patients that are, I would say, obese or suffering from um, just their body mass is like right. a little too dense for them, right. too high for them? Yes. Absolutely. How do patients usually present to you? Do they call you up on the phone? Do you do a consultation? How so, does one know when yeah. it's time to just like right. not eat or when it's time where they should come and get some help? That's right. Okay. So um, here we go with this word clarity again. Oftentimes patients themselves wake up one day and say, you know what? I need help. Okay. And they have a definitive moment where they say, let me uh, search out some help, search out for some help. And they normally call us on the phone or they reach out through social media um, and we schedule them. Talk us through maybe one success story that the practice has had. And I know that you're new there, but mm -hmm. even in your practice where you, somebody came to you and said, I really need help. And then they've had a great result. Yeah, and it's sort of uh, these success stories okay. is really what got me interested in bariatrics specifically. Um, you know, here is a procedure, a surgical procedure that is essentially curative for obesity and morbid obesity. And not only are we curing obesity, uh, but many of these patients also have comorbidities, other conditions that are associated with uh, obesity, such as diabetes, high blood pressure, sleep apnea, often oste osteoarthritis, just from mm. the, the weight that their joints are bearing. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a medical student, I saw that um, these patients were having resolution of not only their obesity, but in many instances, in the majority of instances, also some of these comorbidities. Wow. So one surgery cured of sometimes of hypertension, diabetes in, in many cases, sleep apnea, getting them off of their hypertensive and diabetic, uh, diabetic medications. And I just felt that this was a field that would offer me a lot of job satisfaction. I'd be able to help patients. And, also be yes. able to follow them lifelong. Because when oh. we, we operate on these patients, we continue to see them Absolutely. Uh, for the rest of their lives. Okay, so it's not like a one and done. No, it, not at all. Not no. At all. So you walk them through the process so that they can, their body can, I guess, morph, if you will, into it, the new structure. It does, it, it does morph uh, much, uh, just as much physically as sort of biochemically and, and metabolically as well. Um, and that's why you know, we went into bariatric surgery. If we're taking out your gallbladder, we take out your gallbladder and we don't see you for the rest of your life. Okay. 
But with bariatrics, we get to combine surgery with sort of a family practice feel in that we see our patients every year and we see the progress that they've made. Uh, many patients, uh, not only are they getting healthier, but their confidence picks up. They don't suffer from depression. And unfortunately, society can uh, make it very difficult for patients with, uh, who are obese. Um, they don't have to deal with that once they lose their weight and, and treat their medical conditions. And also mobility. A lot of times you're morbidly obese and you're in a wheelchair, but once you're able to slim down, exactly. you know, then you're able to keep your structure upright. Absolutely. Exactly. We see patients all the time who say, Doc, I can now bend over and tie my shoes. Wow. Doc, I can now button my pants without needing help. Yeah. And these are things that most of us take for granted but are very, uh, very huge accomplishments for patients who are dealing with obesity. This is such a success story for you both, and I wanna applaud you because going to medical school is like a big deal. It's a lifelong journey. You're constantly still learning. Mm -hmm. So were you good students when you were kids? Like, did, I mean, like, did that, is it just having a great work ethic? How do you actually finish getting a medical degree? And you have lots of letters after your names, by the way, right? <laughs> a lot of letters, a lot of letters. Um, I think it begins at home. Okay. Um, we had fantastic parents, fantastic mentors who kept us on track. Mm -hmm. um, was I straight A's? Absolutely not. Okay. Okay. Um, but I think it's important to say because even though we were not, or even at least me, I was not straight A, um, my work ethic and my determination um, with a little bit of luck in prayers uh, got us to where we are. Well, I congratulate you both. I really do. I, I can tell just by the essence of your personalities, like how well you care for your patients. Thank you. And um, that's, a, like you said, a, a blessing. It's, it's wonderful to be able to have a talent that you're able to help others. So congratulations for that. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you so much. And uh, so the, you're there, you're, you're newly there. So <laughs> yeah. uh, not bad. I said, it's kind of great that you start a new job and you get to be on CBS in the same week. It's like, not ding. bad. Not <laughs> bad you know. It's a good first week. There yeah, you go. It's pretty, pretty good first week. Dr. Owen and Dr. Charles, thank you so very, very much. Thank you very thank much. You so much. much. Thank so you so much. So this is why I love what I do. I get to meet the most fascinating people from all over the world. Stay tuned. We've got another great guest coming up next.